song is a novel about a young boy who leaves one side of the world bound for another with big dreams as courageous as he is naive. These are the images of our time. Some of these children are fleeing war, a matter of life and death. Others are searching for a better life, a place they might have heard about, then dreamt about, started to believe in, even from a great distance. So many stories remain untold. Most are untold. That's why I want to tell this one. Sung was born in China in the late 19th century, where he heard stories, rumours mostly, about a magical place on the other side of the world, a country called at that time British Guyana, on the northeast shoulder of South America. So he boards a boat for the promise of a wage, of a full stomach, of a better life, to see if the tales are true, the sweet taste of ripe, splitting mangoes. In the skies above, rainbow-coloured macaws. Where the rivers seep gold, and there's a chance to get rich, to get lucky. Song also leaves his family to save his family, hoping to send money home, as so many people do around the world today. That is why this story, set more than a hundred years ago, is contemporary and relevant. We live now in a time of the greatest movement of people, made up of individuals such as Song. For most economic migrants, as it was for Song, they are searching for a better life in a place they can call home. Please support my book, to let Song's story be told. There is some personal truth in it, a piecing together of blurred memories of elderly relatives and their reminiscences. But it's equally a universal story, a timeless story, one we might all be able to relate to and understand.